Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing okay. So this week I'm going to be turning this bag into a set of coasters using the Jesmini and paper technique. So let's see how it turns out. I can't wait. So initially I have to make sure my moulds are clean and how I make sure my moulds are clean is I use sticky tape, so brown tape or masking tape and I literally just press down and make sure all the bits and any debris, dust is removed from each and every mould. Um, with this one we've got a stand as well so it's just a matter of just flipping it inside out and making sure that all your bits um, and dust are pressed out um, and this is how I clean all my moulds um, that I've used with both jesmonite and resin um, so it's just an easier way just to make sure it's all clean um, normally when I've used soap and water in the past it's left um, a mark um, once I've demolded so I found this way um, the most easy and efficient way to remove any bits and make sure that all the molds are clean so that is how I do that um, definitely a good way um, using either brown tape or masking tape now it's just a matter of actually measuring it up and making sure that I get these correct. Now I've got an old mold that I've, uh, an old coaster that I did with this mold before. So I've gone and got a pencil and I've drew round the edge just to give me an idea of the sizing and hopefully that these would fit. And then it's just a matter of just cutting them out. Now what I did find out is because that other mould is slightly bigger, um, they were overlapping a bit. So I did actually get the compass out, measured it correctly and made sure that all of the pieces fit. Now I am filling this with Jesmonite. I get my Jesmonite from Polysil UK. I found them really, really efficient. And I want a dark blue. Um, normally I use the blue pigment, which normally ends up really, really light. So I needed to add a bit of black pigment just so it's a dark and navy and it matches some the terizzo, a terizzo or yeah the the pattern that are on the initial gift bag that I had so I wanted to make sure I got that colour now this would be too light so just bear in mind that when your jesmonite dries it's going to be much lighter than what it is in the pot again so this is um obviously you know while it's wet um so i'll have to make sure i've got the black now a black with this particular pigment is drying up really quickly um it's a shame um but i've still got plenty in there i'll just give the bottle a good shake and i'm hoping that that's around about the right color for that bag um so it does match so I, i'm hoping that that's right um and i'm making sure that i'm pouring the stand first now with the paper cut on the edge i needed to pull it away so i don't want to be going down the front of it i want to go behind of that extra edging bit um, because I have used that just to give that detail on the stand as well and then, then filling it right to the top um, so yeah it was really good now I actually used um, I think it was 138 grams of the liquid and then times the base by 2.5 as it has and as it requires on the tin and it asks you in the instructions and that was perfect for these four co coasters and the stand so it worked out really really well um so again just placing it directly onto the back of the paper just to make sure that there's no movement or no lift lifting and it's just giving it a bit of a shimmy now what i had noticed um is i think the paper did move when i was shimmying it um as my final result there was a bit of a bit of movement you can see it. it's not perfect but as Claire says, um, if you watch and follow Claire's Crafty Corner, made with love and not perfection. And I absolutely love the end results of these coasters. They're exactly what I wanted. Um, and it turned out better than I expected. So, yeah, I was really, really surprised. So during the time of waiting for these to cure, um, waiting 20 minutes, I decided to do my nails. So you might notice that before I've got no nails and then I've got nails. Um, and I used the fork, plastic fork, actually, because that helped actually move any lumps or bumps that were actually part. Now, what you can see on there are air bubbles. Um, so I'm just trying to shimmy those out by doing this. And I think I moved the paper too much. 
um, and I caused a bit of a fold. But again, I just waited 20 to 25 minutes while these cured um, and then demolded. Now, this is the first time I'm probably demolding a jesmonite version of this stand, so this coaster set. Um, easy demolding for the four coasters. Again, I always pull the mold away from the made coaster. But oh my god, look how good that colour is in contrast to the actual colour that I mixed. I was so happy with it. Although I do know um, 24 hours later will be the actual um, full true colour of it. So there will be moisture in this. And as I was showing on this, there was a bit of a dip on the actual coasters. But you know what? I absolutely love the effect of them. I loved the, the actual pattern. As soon as I saw this bag, um, which had my daughter's birthday presents in it, I was like, oh, I've got to do something with that. And this this was literally what I wanted to do and I finally got around to doing it. Now this was the scary part for me is demolding this. The last time I did a concrete demold of this I snapped it so I was so 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 nervous um, and again it was I just I was worried that it would break before I even got a chance to get it out um, and you can see now I always say don't rush if you're really really sure unsure of what it's going to do is just take your time don't rush to demold and make sure that wherever it you can see where it's stuck to the product is just trying to get some air in it and get some air relief um, and that will help move the mold away but this did take time now this has actually been sped up a little bit um this video um so uh, you can see that the time and the effort and the detail that i had to put into this to get it out without snapping it um it's definitely one of those things now with resin i literally don't have to worry about it it's not going to snap <laughs> but this i was just so nervous this is the first time i've done a jesmonite pour in this mold um and even at that point where it flicked i was like please don't break but it worked out and it did pop in the end and i was so happy with it it's just holding it and getting it around the edge of the corners first and then pulling it away from it um, and holding the edge um any moisture in it i think would weaken um so just making sure as well that you are measuring it but i was so excited that i managed to demold it without even breaking it i was over the moon and then with the actual paper design in there i was so happy oh absolutely love it so I do wait 24 hours. Um, I will wait 24 hours actually for all the moisture to leave these. It's always best to wait for the moisture to leave before you start sealing them. Um, and I will be sealing this with um, Resonates Protect It. I will spray them, but you can see in this video that there is a few dips where the paper had moved. But you know what? I don't care. I absolutely loved how these turned out. Um, if you're still here, please remember to like and subscribe. And just tell me how much you love these coasters. Oh, oh, they're very autumn -y. I love the autumn colours. So, yeah, thank you for being here and enjoy the rest of your evening and have a good weekend. Bye-bye.